Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to be playing Civilization 6 and we all know that people love to play Civilization 6 not for the ability to nuke your enemies, not for the ability to make the largest army the world's ever seen and just steamroll computers who have been bugging you the entire game, but people love to play Civilization 6 because of the tiled yields. That's right, when you see a tile with a ton of yields, it just triggers serotonin in your brain that cannot be found anywhere else. And because everybody loves tile yields so much, we're going to be playing a game in which we try to get one of the wonders that gives you the greatest tiled yields, and that's none other than Petra. So Petra is a simple wonder that takes the worst tiles in the game, desert, and turns them into very good tiles by adding food, production, and gold onto them. However, if we add other tile bonuses onto these already good Petra Desert tiles, we can have the greatest tile porn that has ever been seen in civilization history. And that's what we will be trying to do today. And the reason why I think that this can be done is because of the new additions that have been added in the most recent updates to the, the new Civilization Battle Pass. So in those updates, there are a couple things that are going to help us a lot. First is being the addition of heroes, which means that there's a hero available who is called Maui, and his ability is he is able to put down luxury resources on tiles that aren't owned by anybody. You can see how we can use this to our advantage to make our Petra desert tiles even better by plopping out a bunch of luxury resources on them. The second update that will help us is that you can now actually choose which city-states you have in your game, meaning that we can choose all the city-states that have unique buildings as their bonus. So for those tiles that we can't put luxury resources down in our Petra city, we can at least build these special buildings such as a colossal head or something like that, and then those tiles will be even better than the normal desert Petra tiles. You can't just go into this game without a plan. So we have developed a strategy to be able to get the Petra quickly, guaranteed, and to make sure that our cities will be as overpowered as possible. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is choosing Mansa Musa as our leader. And this is because he has a bunch of bonuses related to being on the edge of deserts, which will give us extra faith. And with that extra faith, we'll be able to select a pantheon that boosts our holy sites um, if they are next to deserts. So what that'll do is give us a huge adjacency bonus on our holy sites. And I know what you're thinking, faith adjacency on holy sites, it's good, but it's it's not great. But with the quick religion that we are planning to get, we can choose the religious bonus that actually gives us production equal to the amount of faith adjacency on our holy sites, which will make all of our cities with these crazy holy sites super overpowered. And then with that, we'll have enough production in our desert city to secure our Petra, with the other two changes that we talked about before, we'll be able to make the best Petra ever seen. So let's just jump into the video and then let's see if we can get it done. As you can see from the world options, we kind of created a map where this should be possible. So we have it set to a hot temperature, meaning there's going to be a lot more desert. Arid um, rainfall, meaning less woods, rainforests, and marshes. Low sea level, just to give a little bit more land. Another reason why I chose Mats Musa is he actually has an embedded code related to him that makes him spawn always on the edge of a desert, meaning that we'll, we'll have a viable place to put down a Petra city right in the beginning of the game. Just looking over this start, I'm already thinking of settling actually here on this desert hill tile just because I'll get an extra bonus from his um, ability get extra faith so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I do want as much extra faith as possible to be able to get uh, an early pantheon online and just to get the extra food so it looks like we have a huge desert over here which is gonna be perfect for putting down our Petra city okay Hercules is a great hero because he completes districts in actually one turn so I think we're gonna have to um, choose him and you can see we already actually have our pantheon because we hit a plus 30 in one of our goodie huts for faith so i'll take a look here so normally i would always go with religious settlements here just because it's so good to get an extra settler early but i'm actually going to go ahead with this holy site districts get an extra one faith per adjacent desert tile 
So I'm gonna get going on my monument here so I'll be able to get Hercules. I'm actually also going to choose the Hermetic Order to get Ley Lines, which might, if we have added Ley Lines near our Petra City, it'll make it even better. So I'm getting a lot of floods here on my land near my capital, which actually is really good. Because look at these delicious tiles I have near me. This is actually getting really crazy. And you can see because I took the Holy Site Pantheon, my Holy Sites are actually amazing, especially on the edge of this desert here. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to buy this tile and plop down a plus six Holy Site here. And I'm going to walk Hercules over just to finish it right away. And we already have our first Holy Site done, giving it's plus six faith. So I have my first settler here. And I have been looking at the land and I think I'm going to make a Petra City somewhere in the middle of this desert so I can make sure to grab as much desert land as possible. But the thing is I want to be able to aqueduct to either this mountain or this river so I can have a lot of population in the city. So if you look at the great people I'm still the only person earning any great profit points so I don't need to get a shrine just yet. So our settler is in position to plop down what will be our Petra city and it's going to be the probably the worst city you've ever seen right now. It's not doing much for it. What it does have is a lot of food growth and faith because of our bonus. You can see we're getting plus six being surrounded by uh, desert tiles. Okay, so we actually finished our promotion on Magnus so we can now get the Hermetic Order online which should reveal some ley lines. Oh, and it looks like we actually have some. It improved our um, holy site to a plus nine holy site, which is actually insane. We even have a plus eight holy site over here. So I just went into a um, little village and we found Maui, which is perfect because he actually can put a um, bonus or luxury resource on a plot an unknown um, area so he's going to be perfect for our Petra city because we're going to be plopping down all these luxury resources um, outside of its borders right now and then it'll grow into there and then once we have Petra it'll be even more overpowered so it's actually looking really good for our Petra strat right here we just have to make sure we can secure this guy as early as possible so we actually have enough to um, recruit a great profit here and pretty early it's not the earliest great profit but so we just entered into a golden age which is great because we'll be able to choose monumentality which means we'll be able to spend our huge faith income on builders and settlers and everything it'll really just um, help us a lot in this age here and we're also about to found our first re our religion here I'm gonna choose this guy because he kind of looks like a goat and we're just gonna have to name it because that's really what we're going for this game. And something that's going to help us a ton is actually this dedication right here. Which normally isn't very good. But if we look at it, it says Holy Sites District's Faith Adjacency provides production as well. Uh, and if you remember, our cities have some Holy Sites with plus 9s, plus 8s. So that's going to be a huge bonus in our production game. Really skyrocketing. So now, if we look... You can see these holy sites are plus eight and plus nine, right? So if we click on our city, we look at the production and we're getting 21 production on turn 31. Um, you can see on the top there, it's a bonus from the holy site. We're getting plus eight from our just our holy site. So we just founded the lovely city of Timbuktu. And if we look at the um, holy site that we can build we actually can plop down a plus 10 holy site over here because we're surrounded by ley lines mountains and desert tiles so that's going to be insane for our game here and it's when we um, finish it it'll also be giving us a plus 10 production so we just completed mathematics meaning we now have access to petra just looking at that um, little tiny icon is making me very very excited so we are currently um, building Maui in our city here. So we'll be able to plop down luxuries on all these tiles around here. But we're just going to put down Petra first and then go back to finishing Maui because he's super important for our strategy. So we just finished building Maui, which means we can now run him around and start upgrading these lovely tiles. If we click this button here, boom, we now have a silver tile on this 
what used to be a flatland desert tile, meaning that when our city grows onto here, with our Petra will be able to improve it, making these tiles even better than the normal Petra tiles. And since we finished Maui, we can actually go ahead and start building Petra, which only has a 12 turn build time because we're getting nine production from our holy site. Something else that we're able to do is get suzerainty of Granada, if we just confirm that. And with that, we are now actually able to build the, the Alcazar improvements, which provide plus two culture um, and science equaling the appeal. And with these buildings, we'll actually be able to run builders around and plop down these buildings on any flatland um, desert tiles we have in our Petra city. Another great thing about um, Mansa Musa is you can actually buy uh, economic buildings with faith. So we're going to be having so much faith. You can see we're making 46 faith per turn, which is actually crazy. So we're just going to be buying a ton of things with our faith right now. And we'll be able to buy back our heroes whenever we need, which is great because Maui only has four charges. So it'll be good to get him back as many times as possible to fill out all of these tiles around our city with luxuries. Okay, so we just hit another important point in this game. We unlock theology, which normally isn't that great. Sure, it's good if you're uh, if you're playing a religious game. But if you take a look at this policy right here, it says 100% Holy Site Adjacency Bonus, which means if we plop that card in, if you take a look in our Petra City, we have a Holy Site Adjacency of plus 9. But if we go into our city and take a look at the production bonus, we're getting plus 18 production just from our Holy Site District because the bonus is doubled. And similar to that, if you look at the Faith, we're getting 24 faith from our districts and 18 from our holy site, which is absolutely insane. You can see we're making 74 faith per turn and it's only turned 45. So we actually have some bad news here. It looks like Scythia has decided to declare war against Granada and I don't think they're going to survive against 900 um, military strength, but once we are once we finish our Petra and become our overpowered self, I think we should be able to take back Granada, liberate it, so we can get their bonus of having their uh, unique buildings. Display oh, it's dark. just wonderful. Into Look at rock. that. It's truly one of the most beautiful wonders in the game. And now, if you look at these tiles, they already look amazing. Oh, just truly beautiful, beautiful tiles. Because of my bonus, my desert mines are now making six gold per turn which is pretty good and once i start building some mines over here on these guys here will be even better and we almost have enough faith ready to buy back maui next turn and we'll be able to plop down some more luxuries on these surrounding tiles all right so i just finished a round of builder improvements here and you can see it's actually going insane and if we just look at the city it's making 47 production right now 41 gold, 17 science, and 28 faith. And this is super early into the game. So it's already just like a completely crazy city. You can build stuff in one turn everywhere. Super quick wonders in four turns. And units in one or two turns. Even the strongest units I can build at this point. But we're not done yet. We still need to free Granada so we can plop down some of their unique buildings on these flat tiles here. And we gotta get back Maui next era so that we can continue putting luxury and bonus resources down on the edge of these flat tiles. We're still early into the game, we haven't got to the greatest Petra yet. So I think I'm in a good position to um, declare a surprise war. Now they do have a lot bigger military than me, but we are quite a ways ahead of them in techs. And we will be unlocking gunpowder and uh bombard soon so i think they should be we should be able to beat them quite easily our main goal of this war of course is to liberate granada so we can get the build their unique buildings back a few moments later so we just took back um granada here and uh it's actually so quick to make military units i've just been pumping out my unique or my unique knight unit 
and they are so strong right now against all of his units they're just getting destroyed so I'm gonna go ahead and liberate Granada to the founder this is the progress on um, the city right now you can see it's just tearing it up 79 gold per turn and we're just in the um, the medieval era so we're doing pretty well pretty 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 good so we have suzerainty of them and now with our builder we can walk over here and look at this produce the alcazars over here and now these normal these normal desert petra tiles have an extra two culture on them making them even better than before so this war has been going quite well i'm about to take her capital which is just lovely great so i got her capital and i should be able to hold all of these cities here so i think i'm going to try to piece her out and if we take a look at our lovely petra city you can just see how great it looks right now just look at all those tiles I just have to improve this here and I have to take it from this other city. This truly has to be one of the best Petra, one of the best Petra cities of all time. Almost every single tile has some kind of improvement on it. The campuses and the industrial zones are all providing like crazy amounts of uh, district adjacency. The, the uh, holy site's plus 10, this is plus 8, plus 8, plus 6. And just looking at the city stats, you can just see how good it is. So much science, so much faith, so much gold and production coming out of it. I can just build wonders and units in one turn. I literally don't have any other buildings I can build in here. I'm just waiting to get the population up, pretty much, so I can put down more districts. But other than that, Everything is super quick to make. I think we have successfully created the best Petra city of all time. And honestly, this strategy isn't that hard to implement. You really just have to get lucky with getting Maui um, as a hero. Uh, if you turn the city-states into all the ones that provide you their little buildings, then you can get a Petra city just like this one. So you guys should give it a try. I find it really fun to take like what was in the beginning a super crappy city. Like remember when I put it down, it just had no yields, no room for yields. And then now it turns into like truly the best city in my empire by far and away. Better stats than any other city. And I find it's just fun to make uh, games with all this yield porn, you know, just truly great. So I think that's where I'm going to end the video today. I'm not top dog in science or anything yet, but I mean, I'm pretty close. And now that I took uh, Scythia's capital, it should be a, just a matter of time before I steamroll and then I'm just ready to win the game. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.